you know, I feel like I've been wasting my time, you know, making video after video after video, searching up the word feminism, and, you know, it, 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 it's, it's getting old. So, what I did differently is type in anti-feminism sucks. And there was this one video made back last year, December, by a chick named, what's her name? Uh, Spit. Her name is Stigus. Stigus? That's how you pronounce it? Really? What sort of name is that? I'm not sure if she's still active, but she has made a video entitled Anti-Feminism Sucks. Now, from what I heard, uh, she actually made a video in the past, but she removed it because she was talking too much. I don't know. So I'm going to do you guys a favor. I'm going to skip ahead like one minute and 30 seconds because it's just her babbling and just talking and talking about how, you know, she made a mistake or something like that. I don't know. But is this video going to be any different from every typical feminist video? I doubt it. But let's see. Maybe she has something to say. You know, maybe she'll say something smart. Uh, right. So, I've never actually made a video before, and I might very well cut this part out. But I saw this thing on Tumblr today that uh, I felt deserved a response. Um, it was uh, this anti-feminist video. And honestly, up until I found this, I didn't know that that was a thing. I thought that it was pretty much just, like, crazy extremist feminists and people who are like, yeah, you know, women ought to have rights, but, you know, let's not, like, burn bras and walk around naked because whatever. Uh, apparently, this whole anti-feminist thing, you know, it's a counterculture to the super liberal feminist, you know, culture. And countercultures are great. They are. They, uh, they lead to social change, they... But, when your counterculture advocates for going back to a time when women had no say in anything, when women were literally property, there's something wrong. What you just said... was... really... So, basically, you hate the fact that us, the people who are opposing feminism, are generalizing feminism as these group of women who want to burn bras and walk out naked out of the street. Not every fe I already know! That not every feminist does that. I know that. I don't generalize them like that. But what you just did was generalize anti-feminism as a whole. As, as saying, you know, if you're an anti-feminist, you must be against equality because by definition, anti being a feminist means being for equality. Being an anti-feminist must mean that you're for you're against equality. Are you really that fucking stupid? Really? Now I'm not going to ignore the fact that there are anti-feminists that do believe in this. Yes, there are there actually are men who truly do hate women and believe that women should be nothing more than property. I seen this before. I seen this on the Maury show. But you, you just generalized everyone it, because you, you have barely done your research at all. And I know I'm responding through a three month video, but come on. This, this 
just continue. <laughs> so, basically she started out complaining about how when she goes places with men, they don't always pay for her. She goes to the gym with a friend. They didn't pay for her. She goes out to dinner, and they didn't pay for her. This is more than just anti-feminist. This is asking for women's rights to be taken away. This is asking for people not to see women as competent. Asking for people, asking, not only taking away women's rights, but taking away men's rights. Wait, 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 how? How the hell is this taking away women's and men's rights? Like, some girl is asking, you know, is expecting his boyfriend, I mean, her boyfriend, to pay money for her? Or some male friend to pay money for her to go into the gym, to go to some store? Some bitchy woman? One woman? One? Oh. Oh, God. You are unbelievably stupid. I mean, wow. Wow. How exactly? Explain yourself. For to not be expected to pay for women. Every, every man for himself, every woman for themselves. How hard would that be? How hard would it be to actually go out and get a job? I don't have a job right now. I'm still looking for one. And believe it or not, it's actually a lot harder than it looks. Like, really? Do you have to have someone paying for you all the time? Really? And does this movement have to be a thing? Can't we liberate women and then, if you want to stay home and take care of ten drooling, shitting children all day? Yeah, you can do that. Fine, but for the rest of us who want to have a life, who want to be successful, just as successful as men can be, sometimes even more successful, let us have our thing. Let us do that. No one is stopping you to achieve your goals. I mean, we do have women in, in, in positions where it's usually a man's job, a secretary, I mean, not secretary, uh, a NASCAR driver, basketball player, um, football players. I mean, are you really, really that fucking stupid? I, I doubt you're doing something in your life. I doubt it because look at you. Just look at you. You're, you're, you're a pathetic human being. Just looking like that creepy girl meme. What, what's this called? Creep, creepy girlfriend? What, what, what the f I've forgotten the meme. But I know this, you, you have her face. Just looking at you just creeps me the fuck out. And lady, go be a housewife on your own, right? And again, so men don't have to support you. How dare you assume that men have an obligation to pay for you? Is it really that difficult? Like, you don't want to be taken out anywhere nice if you have to go Dutch? Okay, if you're telling me that you look down upon women who rely on men sometime to feed them, to uh, give them clothing, and, you know, these women sometimes cook, clean, give the man a blowjob whenever he comes home. If you look upon, you look down upon them, then I have lost all respect for you because my mother is just like that. She doesn't have a job. And her main goal is just to cook and clean. She takes care of me. You are the worst kind of feminist. Really? Really? And so then she goes on to talk about how uh, there was, like, a reason that women weren't part of, like, the Catholic clergy. And, like, there's a reason. And, yeah. See, there is a reason 
<laughs> the reason is because up until very recently, as far as history goes, women were property. Women were lesser than men. There were studies done and articles done about how our brains weren't as developed. Our brains were smaller. And how there's just no way we could I mean, bear the load of actually having to do things. You are only making their point stronger. Okay, that right there is 100% true. Fine, I'll give you that. However, you've forgotten about one thing. As much as, you know, women were uh, not allowed to vote and, uh, um, let's see, lead, uh, there's a reason why. Because back then, um, we didn't have this, you know, we, men sort of, you know, went to war. We sort of did most of the of the crafting, the building. We have to do all the heavy work. Women, back in the past, had it easy compared to men. You know, considering that we had to go to war. We have to, um, you know, sometimes we have to hunt. We gotta kill. You have it easy. All you have to do is worry about cooking, cleaning, um, giving birth, and that's about it. So, really, you should just shut up. <laughs> there is a reason that that's not the case anymore. It's because women are equal to men. Okay? Yeah, we do get our periods. We're well, if we're already equal, then how the fuck do you still need feminism? Just as great as men. And that means we should be able to pay for ourselves. And the reason women weren't part of the clergy. <sighs> there was a reason. It's not the reason you cited, though. The reason is because women were property. Women were lesser. Women couldn't be human. No, 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 no. The reason that women were lesser beings is because men, again, went to war. We went, we, you know, did all the heavy lifting most of the time. What did women do back in the past? Cook, clean, and give birth. That's about it. Again, you have it easy compared to the men. Women were petty and small, and they were expected to keep their mouths shut. So, basically, in the end, our current social paradigm is the way it is. Because our current social paradigm is the counterculture to this anti-woman idea that was predominant in society for so long. It is still predominant in many societies. I mean, women, I mean, women are brutalized for being women. Okay, name one, one example that isn't outside of the USA and that includes how women are treated in different third world countries I I explain at what time does a woman get brutalized just for being a woman and It's wrong. And how dare you assume, and how dare you pro protect the idea that women are lesser. The only person there for you is you. And so if you take power away from yourself, you can't even help yourself. And you clearly don't, but other women want to be useful. As a woman, I want to benefit society. Not even as a woman, as a human fucking being. I want to benefit society, alright? 
with your brain power, I'm extremely doubtful. I'm going to end the video right here because one, I don't want to drag it out any longer. The, the next two minutes is just basically saying, hey, you know, we're, we women, we want to be equal. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, with your brain power, I am extremely doubtful that you will be useful to society. Okay, and I'm saying this because you basically just just generalize anti-feminism. Thinking that feminism is equality. But yet you're not calling yourself anything else. You're not calling yourself a masculinist. You're not calling yourself a humanist. You're not calling yourself a part of the MRA. No, 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 no. You're not calling yourself anything of that. Because those people are not fighting for equality. You are. Sorry, you are a moron. <sighs> Keeps getting better and better. So, Feminazi Week is still on going and going and going and going. I know that some of these videos take a little bit longer. Some of these videos aren't even edited right or you know, I haven't even given a, given them a thumbnail, but I promise you that I'm doing the very best I can. Trust me. I I'm I'm doing everything I can. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace. The game